Okay, let's talk toy play. So, some underlying concepts in toy play for dogs that struggle is good girl. Is we want to activate the uh, play cycle. So in the prey cycle, when dogs are hunting, and we have a hunting dog right here, is the first thing they do is they see it, they orient to it, <laughs> and then they may start to stalk it. Nowhere in that cycle does the prey ever come to the animal. So I want you to think about a squirrel. Squirrels don't come running up and chase me, because that's one thing that I often see with folks who are trying to get their dogs to play is they're shoving the toy. We actually want to reduce pressure. We want to create space from the dog. And for dogs that struggle with this, sometimes putting the toy on a rope or like a flirt pole is very helpful. Because you also want to let the dog win. So you don't want to always have to be able to be taking the item from the dog. Yes, we do want to drop, but when we're teaching toy play, we want to help the dog win. So we want to let go of the toy and let them win. This dog here may not return with the toy. She might take off. So by having the toy on a rope, it removes me from the picture. I can let her win, but also when I let it go, she's not going to take off. And I can teach drop in another session. Or when I want her to let go, I might just trade for a piece of food, which can be a challenge for some dogs. All right, so we're gonna create space. We're gonna let the dog win. We're not gonna shove the toy at the dog. Nor will we, if our dogs are kind of like, oh, I don't know if I can do it. Often what we wanna do is we wanna make ourselves more inviting. That's a lot of pressure on dogs. So we actually want to match their energy or maybe even one below. It seems very counterproductive, but what we don't want to do is put pressure on the dog. Let's see what Ellie Belly here does um, with toy play on a rope. I will be rewarding this good dog back here on the mat as well. I'm training him, so I'm multitasking. I'm sort of training him to stay on the mat under arousal. You want to hear me say ground? That means I'm going to return to him and give him a piece of food between the two. So I present my toy. Create space. I'm going to let her win. That's a different deal for her, isn't it? Let her win. You see I'm relaxing with attention. Oh, you got it. You are so strong. You are so strong. You are so, so, so strong. So activated the toy and made it squirrel-like. Oh, you are killing it. Oh, you are so strong. Brown, you are so strong. Now she might drop that when I go bring back a piece of food for the dog. Oh, she didn't see me. Oh, 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 you are such a strong girl. Girl. Oh, you're choking on my cheek. You're choking on my cheek. Oh, you won. Oh, you are such a strong girl. That's a win. Nice slack leash. Oh, you're killing it. So in the prey cycle, this is that. Kill part. Some dogs like to dissect as well. Oh. Oh, put out the tree. Little tree, girl. 